hello dear students good morning to you all uh, today i am going to explain the later part of the uh, sixth chapter of your grammar book the topic is pronouns in my previous class i completed almost half of the chapter right so please open your book at page number 35 today i explained uh, different types of pronouns especially the personal pronouns then possessive pronouns reflexive pronouns and emphatic pronouns so today i'll explain uh, demonstrative pronouns let's look at the book the definition of demonstrative pronoun a demonstrative pronoun points to the noun to which it refers these that these and those are demonstrative pronouns so demonstrative pronoun it points to the noun about which it speaks right so it refers so these that these and those these are demonstrative pronouns let's see the examples this is my book and it is yours in this sentence this and that both are demonstrative pronouns and the next those are new cars these are old cars so those and these both are demonstrative pronoun now turn the page next is interrogative pronouns interrogative as it name refers i mean name means it is a question right interrogative means asking some question here so interrogative pronouns are used to ask questions examples who is your favorite singer here who is interrogative pronouns what is, what has happened to you here what is interrogative pronoun which of them is at fault whose are these files whom do you want to see all these are i mean who what which whose whom all these words are interrogative pronouns interrogative pronouns and uh, interrogative adjectives the word what which and whose can be used as interrogative pronouns as well as interrogative adjectives let's see how it can be done examples are given below which is your desk interrogative pronoun here which is used as interrogative pronoun which desk is yours it is interrogative adjectives okay whose is this book interrogative pronoun whose book is this it is interrogative adjective what is your name interrogative pronoun what program are you watching interrogative adjective so how can you distinguish uh, i mean interrogative pronoun or uh, interrogative adjectives it is easy to find out because interrogative adjectives means when these particular words i mean which what whose if it is used before a noun right so it is called adjective so you can see for better interesting look look at the i mean second sentence which desk is yours here desk is noun before noun which is used so here which is interrogative adjective similarly let's uh, see the fourth sentence whose book is this so book is noun before book when it, where it is used it is it becomes interrogative adjectives right next is relative pronoun a relative pronoun refers to a noun mentioned before it let's see the examples that is the boy who told me about the meeting so a noun it refers to a noun mentioned before it so you here you see that is the boy means about the boy who told me about the meeting here who i mean is used to mean the boy right so it refers to a noun mentioned before in the same sentence she is the girl whom the principal scolded yesterday so whom and the girl understood so i mean whom is used to mean the girl about whom it is mentioned in the same sentence before earlier this is the bag which i bought understood then indefinite pronouns indefinite pronouns are used when we do not know the identity of the person or thing so when we do not know somebody nobody like that okay you see the examples somebody rescued him so somebody is a unknown person whom we do not know nobody helped them 
so nobody is also someone whom we do not know so indefinite pronouns are uh, those which i mean uh, we cannot identify okay we do not know the identity of the person or the thing they are we use indefinite pronouns okay so we have come to the end of the chapter we have already in our previous class we did exercise a today we'll do b just take pencil in hand and note down as i say exercise b fill in the blanks using the given pronouns here first one is which of these boys is the champion swimmer okay which and the second one whose blazer has i mean amita borod whose w h o s e whose number 3 what games does bibek play what number 4 who was complaining about the meal here who right number 5 whom do you meet just now so whom here next number c rewrite the sentences after correcting the errors so you have to find out the errors right Mm, first sentence who made the basket myself made it so here you just uh, circle the word means you have to remove the word myself and you need to write i i made it okay instead of myself if it's was i you should write i say secondly one raman got an award uh, they were the best performer so here raman uh, got the award he was instead of they were you have to write he was the best performer number 3 one of our teachers has gone home here instead of they you write in the next sentence they will return next week instead of they you write he i and uh, c are classmates so we have already got we should write i later first you should write the sentence is incorrect because you have to write start the sentence with c so correct sentence will be c and i are classmates okay c and i are classmates do the work himself so do the work yourself it should be yourself some of my friends has decided to go on a holiday together since some of my friends the subject is plural you should write have here you cannot write has okay when the subject is singular then only you have to write has here some of my friends means they many more so it is plural um, as a result you have to write here have some of my friends have h a v e number 7 the book is fine this book is mine it should be mine okay he is stronger than i he is stronger than me okay it should be me he himself hurt he hurt himself not himself hurt the student are getting restless he is hungry here the student the students are it should be students okay the students are getting restless they are hungry c is instead of c is you right they are okay turn the page uh, exercise d circle the correct answer c doesn't like looking at her or herself in the mirror so here it is herself circle herself c doesn't like looking at herself in the mirror okay in the second one i am teaching myself uh, or me to the to play the drums so i am teaching myself okay i am teaching myself to play the drums did you cut your hair himself yourself did you cut your hair yourself correct is yourself i prefer to uh, prefer our house to theirs it should be to theirs not mine okay to theirs circle to theirs that's not my pencil box this is mine or my this is mine correct is mine okay please keep that wet umbrella of your or yours outside here it should be yours please keep that wet umbrella of yours outside those keys are hers okay those keys are hers whose or uh, whose or who is the bad here is the correct is whose w h o s e whose is this bad okay so we have completed all uh, exercises so let us rewrite so dear students this is your homework you will do yourself i mean um, uh, wrote uh, write the answers in the book and take a photo and send to me 
and at the same time you complete all a b c d exercises in your copy note down neatly and the uh, key for your further studies and whatever i have given just now you please send photo i mean uh, to me to my whatsapp number okay thank you